Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, just the other day I was realizing that I did not show this gun with the extended barrel. So I just wanted to do a video for those of you who did get the package that comes with it. Um, pretty much how to replace it. So right now I have the regular barrel on there with the little custom orange paint that I made. And I have the extended barrel. And I have not shot this yet, actually, which is really strange. I'm going to. I, yeah, I just had this in, in my bag and never actually used it because I always had it just with the regular one. So I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out and then probably take this to the, uh, to the range and give it a test. I'm pretty sure it'll fire a lot better with a uh, further. So probably do some target practicing with this uh, after I install it or probably a couple days from now when I hit up the range. So, okay, here we go. And let's get this guy right here. So basically it's a regular takedown. I've done this before. This gun is clear. You want to see right here okay so we'll leave it back like this hammer back and as my other one shows my other takedown um, I'll go ahead and do that so basically you just push this lever forward right here push it forward and I usually slightly cock it back a little bit and as I do that I lift the barrel up and as I'm lifting the barrel up I'll use the my right hand and slide the pull the slide back and right here I'd get my finger under the barrel just like this because the spring will mangle up and as you pull back so go ahead and pull back a little bit keep your finger under here slowly lift that barrel up kind of like giving somebody a middle finger and now I'll hold this down hold the slide down with my thumb pull this barrel out see that now my finger is right here see so if you look at it the spring is still straight you don't do that it's gonna get mangled up or it's gonna fly all over the place and it's gonna you know it's not gonna be a good sight plus this is a lot faster way to actually swap your barrel if you have to so yep so okay my fingers there I'll rack it all the way back lock it up and spring it steady now take this extended barrel and just like the normal barrel, you gotta find that. Find this notch, match it up with the little rail inside, or post, you wanna call it. Snap it in, good to go. And that's how it looks. I think that looks pretty cool. So I might just leave it like this for a while and practice my long range targeting and see how well I could do with this and maybe I just might leave that. Um, it actually feels a lot, definitely a lot heavier because of the, uh, this extra two inch of barrel. But it does have a nice feel to it. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and most likely color make it just like this one and just for the sake of it I'll probably do a video on that it's, it's really simple but I'll show exactly how I do it in the process I do it to make it stick all right guys thank you for watching this I hope it helps you guys out the swapping process and I will see you on the next video Please subscribe, like, 
comment, share, anything you could do to help out other people who have the Phoenix Arms HP 22A. Have a good day, guys. Thanks a lot again for watching. Take it easy. Bye.